Hey, one of the Viking again for another unboxing of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag Special Edition, Buccaneers Edition for the PS3, plus a Doom Cyber Demon, and I've bought two CDs now. So we'll, we'll do this one first, and then this one, and then I will show the CDs. Got Anthrax and Motorhead Hammered album. Trust me, it's been so long, and I've got a different angle because I want to see if I can do this better because I've got the uh, the the next one that comes, I think, Monday. So slips off. Made. Got that. Got the back of what comes in it. You know. Collector's box. Black Fire video game. Captain Kenway for the soundtrack. Two Luther Grouse and an art book. You know. Not bad. Now, I got this game on for free when I got my Xbox One years ago. And it was uh, the. the so, what, what edition was it? It was just the. Uh, standard, I think. Um. Actually, I think I've got it up here. Yeah. It was a... Uh, like that Special Edition, so... It was that one. I got it for free, and I, uh, the game's so good that it's like, well, I'm going to give the developers money. But, I didn't want to just buy the game again. So, found that. Decided to buy that. Simple enough. So, I think it comes off... Well, this looks like a... we got the top here. It's a chest, basically, you know. Yeah, skull there, which is awesome. And, yeah, now, I don't actually know how to open this. Uh, oh, hang on. It's actually got things here that you can uh, cut open. I didn't see it. didn't actually know that. Because every other Assassin's Creed Special Edition I've gotten, you haven't had to open it. Like, you've had to open it, but you don't have to open it by cutting a seal. At least I don't remember you had to. I don't really want to cut the cardboard. There we go. It's one. There's none on the sides. There's just one at the front and the back. I think you can see that. Just slowly go in. There you go. It's cut open. And it fell. But it was cut open, so not bad. Alright, so Buccaneer Edition. Yes. So I think it lifts up like that. I, I think this is the right way. I assume so. Yes, so. That comes off. Nice little thing there. You got the insides. So first up, the game, PS3 edition, special edition, which comes with over 60 minutes. Sounds great, Black Flag, full game, free exclusive download content, 60 minutes, all single player game with Aveline. I think that was the PS3 exclusive stuff, so... I mean, I've already got the game, the special edition stuff, so... I might sell it to a family member that hasn't played it yet. I don't know. Oh, the tape's coming off again. Oh. Should hold fairly well, just to... I don't want it to go crazy. Alright. So. We get... This, which is very piratey and old, which I... Thoroughly enjoy. I reckon it looks great. By Edward K. Now they had a bigger edition which came with like two graphs that were like paintings, but yeah, so you got that one. Of Edward Kenway, who is a great assassin, one of my favourites. And the ship, the jackdaw, fighting me greatly. And yeah, not bad. I like that. It's a small thing. So you know how Warner Brothers has the comic books? It's like, well, really, just give us art things like that. Just two of them. That's worth it. It sounds like Creed Black Flag book. Similar to the other ones that they had in. I actually think this is fatter, to be honest. It looks a bit fatter. So I will go through it. I won't go through all of it. Because I actually haven't finished the game yet. I had too much fun being a pirate. It's Blackbeard. The Abstergo stuff, which is really boring part of the game. You know, I actually really didn't enjoy the Abstergo stuff. It was kind of boring. Kenway, all the different variations. Crazy, crazy old bloke. <laughs> the lush environments, which I have to say were beautiful. Such. Kingston. Kingston. 
to get that. The old fashioned, uh, I think they're uh, well, not wheat houses, but they're uh, they were considered um, oh, what are they called? I can't remember off the top of my head, cloth or something, moth, moth or something. I don't know. I'm thinking moth. <laughs> Great art book. Just gonna go and skip a few things. I don't really want to give you the whole whole tour, you know. I'm sure if you want this you'll get it yourself and you can see all the great artwork and there's plenty more. I'll just see what else. I'll just go through and make sure there's no spoilers really. I mean, you're a pirate, so that's a good one. The ship fights were so beautiful in this game. Absolutely amazing. And we'll do a few more. They had like a bigger, bigger chest, like the, the black chest or something that would have been really cool to get, but apparently that's like a rare one, those big, big ones. I wonder if they're... Yeah. Just to make sure it's a big, that's good, that's good ending. Good. Another good one. I believe that's all the little goody, oh no, hang on. Oh. And a physical soundtrack, which is nice. This this actually has a great soundtrack, even though it's mostly sea shanties. And the disc, the compact disc, and yeah, the old sea shanty when the lights are they so dear. I think that's everything. Yes, 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 yes. And so on and so forth. Now let's get the fun bit out. The the big one. And he's got instructions to put it together. Yeah, just uh, put upside down, make sure. So, you've got instructions here to put them together. He's got a sword. Yeah, you've got a bigger one and such in the. Oh, it's got a twist tie. It's got a little twist tie. You want to see him as he is here? Yeah. Greatly detailed, of course. What'd you expect? He's only got one twist eye, I think, from what I can see. Oh no, he's actually got three. <laughs> I'm seeing at the middle one, I'm like, oh, okay, so I'm getting rid of the middle one, and it's going pretty well, and then, yeah, not. Okay. Bloody twist eyes. They can be annoying. I like the ones where it's just, uh, you know, it's just like those bu bubble things. So, take him out. The hell? Oh, okay. One of the twist ties is stuck. Oh, okay. No, no. Hang on. He's got like a. Alright, I'm very confused about what's going on here. I'm very, very confused. Let's go back. Oh, okay. So the back, like this soft, the untwist tie. And then you got to twist tie him out. Okay, well, that's interesting. So you get like all these different pieces, you get like a uh, rope, and your sword that you put in. I think you can see that. Yeah, he's in the rope. I'll put them together basically here. Because I really want to um, do that. Because I don't know, it just seems a bit easier. Sort of. Alright, so. Just move some of this stuff out. Away. Because I'll be. I don't know if you can see me, but. Yeah. So. We've got his sword, which goes into his hand here. Yeah, I know, it'd be quicker, but you just, just, just so, like, you know, if people are having trouble as well, you can see a man who's got in trouble, and yeah, if I'm sweating, I'm, it's hot, if you can see me, I, I don't, I'm using my phone to record this on, an, on a tripod stuck to it, so, yeah, quite hard, so, this is supposed to fit in there, is that the right way? Hang on. Oh no. 
it's stuck. <laughs> it's stuck in. All right, that's going to be the right way, even though I don't think it, it, it... I don't know. Maybe it is. I'm going to pretend that's the right way. And he's got the stand here. So, this is Edward Kenway, if you can see that. Good detail. It looks great. And yeah. So, let's see. We got the... Oh, his gun fell out. Where was his gun? His gun fell out. I don't know where his gun was. Okay. We'll, we'll put that to the side. We'll put that to the side. So, this goes here into this. Good base. I love how they gave you a base. Like, honestly, the base is really good. Like, it looks, it looks great. I really hope this is in focus too. No, that wouldn't fit. So, this is just... I don't know. Oh. Oh. I have no idea how that... Hang on. Yeah, it says... It says this and this go together. Which I assume would be here. Because these ones fit together. These ones have a... I don't want to force it. I'm sure I'm going to have to. The hell? It's a good base, but to put it together, it's just uh, a bit hard. A little bit hard. Oh god, it's a bit hard actually. Jesus. Pretty sure that's the. <laughs> yeah, so you've got little knobs here that you're supposed to put in. So there's two knobs there and two knobs there. So you're supposed to go in like this. Oh, but you gotta like fucking put pressure on it. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I might leave it like that because I don't really want to push it all the way in, and it should be sturdy enough. Yeah. Okay. So, just so you don't want to, just so to, I don't really want to break. Oh no, this one went in better. See, that one went in better. Yeah, you gotta put some pressure on it, but. Flag is nice. I think you can see that. Shit, sorry. And then he just pops in there. Oh, no. Nice, nice. But even he's, <laughs> even he's having trouble getting in. And then I don't know whether the oh no, hang on. Oh, okay. So the rope goes from the top down to his leg. Okay. <laughs> The, the 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 rope is supposed to go from here down around his hand apparently from the second side so down through they really like to screw they really like to make you go all out don't they now I think his yeah his other pistol just goes in there so well you know I I will put that this on. But not, not, not now. I'll, I'll, I'll do it, and then I'll show it to you. Because we've got the other video stuff to do, but that's what it looks like. So you got the back, you got that, and that's him from afar. He looks great. Well detailed, I have to say. The face is really good. And it's just really nice. It's a great stand, too. So. Bit plasticky, but very strong. So, yeah, that's that one. That's the, that's the collector's edition of Assassin's Creed 4 for the PlayStation 3. And it's the same special edition on all of them. So you got that, you got that, you got those two, and you got the game. I think you can see that, yeah. That's it. Awesome. Now let's move on to the next one. Which is going to be the unboxing of my, well, first part we'll show the, the DVD, the CDs. I bought Anthrax's new album. Can't wait. And I bought a JB Hi-Fi special import of Motorhead's Hammered. Which even online costs like 27, 28 bucks, so yeah. Oh, it was hot. Ow, there we go. Anyway, that's my Doom. 
I love Doom. I can't. I'm getting the special edition of Doom, and yeah, I need a side. I've always loved the side demon, even if it's a pot one. It's the back. It's the side. That's the side demon right there. Oh, I'm excited. I love the side demon. I love Doom. I love all those demons, and I just love it. Cannot wait for new Doom. My FPS of the year. And my phone just went off. This is going to be a fairly longish one. Yes. So, you pop it out. And there you go. Oh, it feels really good. So, there it is. The Cyber Demon. Looks nice. Very nice. Nothing moves, but he looks... He looks great. Feels good. He feels strong. His head... Moves around. Awesome. I, I I actually like that. I think that's a that's a nice little one. I don't I can't I don't think I can make it stand up, but yeah. Um I will do a quick video of like where I've got them. Um and at the end like I usually do the last two. And uh yeah. Aussie biking out. See you soon. Bye. Alright, here it is. On the shelf. Next to my other Assassin's Creed one. Obviously a difference because that one's got a smaller stand, that one's got a big higher stand, but yeah. And my other one is here. There he is next to my other ones. And don't be, you, you'll see these guys again. All the small ones, remember, and all the big ones. Um, And yeah, that's that's me. Now you, people might be wondering how the hell does he, you know, buy all these plus, plus them sort of things. Well... You'd be surprised how much money you save when you don't go out boozing every weekend and you just put some money aside every now and then. You can you can get a, and a lot of these I've gotten on sale. So I got that one on sale, that one, that one, that one, that one. I've also waited and bought these on sale for a cheaper price than they originally were. Some full, this one was full, um, full price. But that's all I can really think of really. This, 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 you know, he was, he was, this was, and that, and those two were on sale and all that. And, 9% of those up there. Um, I got that from $30 instead of 35 That one I got for three, ten, basically free. Um, I got that from my brother. This one I got for like $100. That one I got for 100 And that one I got from 100 Obviously we got other things in those ones, but yeah. So most of them are smaller ones and they're all my collector's editions down there. And I've got a lot more to come. And I might, I might do another video of me just talking and going around the room about what I have and such. But until then, Aussie Viking out. See you in Valhalla. Bye.